Good morning, everyone. I'm your host, Violet. And I'm your other host, Emily. Happy birthday shoutouts goes to Keen Hodgen, Jafet Lopez, Ily Pozos, and Zoe Westerman. For lunch today, we will have 4 by 6 pizza and salads. Happy birthday, Ily. Deck of cookies such as M&M and chocolate fudge will be on sale today. You must have exact change to make a purchase. Calling on 9th through 12th grade students interested in showing off your amazing skills in a variety of STEM-related topics, FHS is forming a Science Olympiad team that will learn about and then compete against other schools in the state. You will be able to work in your teams to show knowledge and skills in many different areas, including anatomy and physiology, chemistry, computer science, physics, forensics, earth-space science, experimental design, and many more. Can you state your name? My name is Nick Furley. Can you state what school you're from? Uh, Lake Central. Can you tell us what year you are? I'm a senior. Can you tell us how long you've been in Science Olympiad? Uh, this is my second year. And can you tell us what events you do? The events I did today were Ready to Do It, Right Stuff, Detector Building, Circuit Lab, and Experimental Design. Can you tell us what technical skills you've picked up from Science Olympiad? So, some technical skills that I've learned, definitely how to use a multimeter because of Circuit Lab. In detector building, a lot of the coding is done on a TI Inspire, so using the Innovator Hub and breadboards. That event has taught me a lot about the connections you need to make on a breadboard. Can you tell us what sort of soft skills you picked up, such as time management, teamwork? You know? Time management, yeah. Definitely, I've learned the importance of not studying for an event at the last moment. A lot of the knowledge I've picked up over the years, but some of the more specialized things you need to study in advance because it's all new material. And teamwork-wise, it's definitely every event you work with at least one partner. So working with people and all different grade levels, it's definitely a different type of interaction between these members. What's something that you feel is important to say about Science Olympiad? I would definitely say that Science Olympiad is not just taking tests and regurgitating knowledge. You pick up a lot of these technical skills and soft skills, learn to work with things that you might not be able to work in the classroom, and really get to delve deep into the information about a subject that really interests you. I personally am a physics guy. I really like physics, so being able to work with these real-life applications and delving deeper into the theories behind them and proving how much I know during these competitions is good. If you would like to know more about Science Olympiad, you can find a flyer in the chatter or contact Mrs. Everett in Student Services. Each year, the Coca-Cola Scholars Foundation awards 150 college scholarships worth $20,000 to high school students across the United States through the Coca-Cola Scholars Program. What does it take to win a Coca-Cola scholarship? Here's a little look and a few of last year's winners. I never thought college was a possibility, and if it was, it was community college perhaps. Make sure that I have a home and I have food and water and shelter. Um, I'm working three jobs right now, one of which is at U-Haul. <laughs> I have been going to college classes as a dual enrolled student since my sophomore year. I'm actually graduating with my associate's degree in May, graduating with an associate before my high school diploma. Me and a group of friends worked together and we planned a prom for students with special needs at my school. I'm the founder of Fem Power, which is the first intersectional feminist group in my school. Students need a 3.0 GPA and to fill out an online application that requires no essays, no recommendations, and no transcripts by October 31st, 2020 at 5 p.m. Now, on to sports with Elijah. Hi, I'm Elijah. Anyone interested in wrestling is here. There will not be a call-out meeting. Please send Coach Sully an email. Let him know that you plan to wrestle. And make sure that you have all of your final form information complete. For those of you not currently in sport, we have open out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The first official practice begins November 2nd. This Friday, the football team will be playing Crawfordville on the IC Sports Network. Remember, this is the last regular season football game. If you want to buy tickets, you have to buy them online. That's it for sports. Now back to your hosts. Yesterday's answer, answer for trivia was the 1800s. Congrats to Carly Roberts for getting the answer right. Today's trivia question is, in FMA, in FMA what is the greatest taboo? 
Don't forget that picture day for class of 2021 is tomorrow and Friday, and underclass pictures will be Friday. Thanks for watching, hot dogs. Don't forget to check us out again tomorrow for your latest news. <laughs>